Well everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a quick one. We're going to do a quick unboxing and have a quick look at the uh, Jumper Express LRS receiver. So let's get down on the bench and have a look. Well, like I said, this is going to be a relatively quick video. I just wanted to... Uh, quickly open this pack up see what you get in now usually I use the happy model and the Namimmo receivers well, so this is the first for me so right let's get the packet open and uh, have a quick look what's inside now just for just for your reference that's the uh, name of this receiver the Aeon RX Mini SE see there by a jumper Bought this from Hobby RC, obviously, as you can tell from the uh, sticker on the bottom there. So look, it looks like you get a set of instructions there. Good thing, showing you uh, your layout of your pads, ground, 5 volts, TX and RX, the boot button. Gives you your specifications there as well. I'll... Uh, I'll for a clearer version of this uh, somewhere up here so you can see if you're, if you're interested in it on the back's just the same just in uh, chinese or something like that right what do you get you actually get the receiver hope you can see that very well there your little receiver looks a nice little uh pad there the led things on the bottom the antenna now you get your little pins for those people who like to use pins to uh, solder on. I think we're missing a wire that. But the other wire <laughs> stuck inside the packet. Now one thing I must say there, looking at them wires, they do look rather short. Now don't get me wrong, I've got a, a drawer full of wires there as you can see, so I'm not gonna run short of wire. It's just they do seem quite short for uh Especially if you're going to mount this on a five inch, you know, depending on where you mount it. I've I've got somewhere I've mounted it at the front of the quad, the back of the quad. So anyway, yeah, that's the wires. Now, one thing I do like the look of with this is that actual antenna. Now it feels quite rigid. I'm just moving a little bit closer there. What I wanted to do was just quickly compare some of these antennas. Now that's uh, one of the ones I get with the Happy Model receivers. And this is one of the ones you get with the, the Mimmo receivers. Now, looking at the Happy Model one, there's very, very little uh, rigid, rigidity. Couldn't get the word out there. Yeah, it's, it's quite soft. Now, it's good for mounting, you know, because you can bend this round and more or less position it where you want. Well, if you look at the Mimmo one, it actually has like a quite a solid block, very similar to the Jump one. It's got quite a solid block in the middle, where again, the, the ends are quite quite flexible yeah if you look at this one you can see it's quite rigid I like, I like that it'd be good for mounting it'll mean when you when you're hitting stuff yeah with this being a lot more rigid yeah you, you, as you crash as you generally do in freestyle you know you bend these and sometimes your uh, your other antennas can stay there but this looks like it's going to spring back see I, I quite i don't i genuinely don't know whether this is going to be any benefit at all but i do actually like that it's quite uh quite good so nothing overly special about this receiver just uh, I thought it was a it's one I haven't used before so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown just to see what's in the packet I'm going to actually be putting this on uh, this little three inch build that I'm currently in the middle of now I'm not sure what this is going to be yet whether it's going to be a long range or just a little three inch basher but that's where it's going to go on so now the little standoffs for this quad actually have uh, a couple of mounts on there for a crossfire receiver. Now I'm just wondering whether the I should be able to squash them over that little square that sort of square plastic part on the on the receiver there. I'm hoping I can maybe force that in and give a, a good solid mount on the back of this quad, you know, it actually goes there. Well there we go, like I said, just a quick video there, more of an unboxing than anything looking at this uh, receiver from Jumper so all I've got to do now I'll get this wired up get it on my quad and uh, see where it flies like so 
Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. We'll see you in the next one.